Hello guys, uh, I'm Karpya. So today I'm going to tell you about comma operators in C++. So here I have a simple program. Oh, check uh, it's a is an integer of value 10 and uh, I have written a series of expressions, three expressions separated by commas. Now let me tell you what a comma operator does. See, for the first expression is uh, a plus 10, the second one is a plus 5, the third one is a plus 15. So what happens is, the compiler does something like this. When it sees a comma operator between uh, expressions, it executes the expressions one by one from left to right. Left to right, okay? Left to right. Remember it properly. And what happens is, uh, it executes it one by one and uh, the rightmost expression is called as the result of all these statements or expressions you can say anything so now you can ask me uh, what's the use of this result of uh, all these statements what's the result what do you mean by it what's the meaning of it now let's say I have one more variable b something like this so what happens is uh, the result of this all the three statements is a plus 15 and now what happens is the value of b is now a plus 15 that is uh, 10 plus tw uh, 15 25 so b's value is 25 but think what will happen if i remove these brackets i mean the parentheses so now what happens don't say uh, the value of b is a plus 15 now because uh, now I'm going to tell you one more uh, important point which is uh, a comma operator is least preferred yeah it is least preferred so here there's an assignment operator the equal to is thing uh, called uh, assignment operator so it is like uh, prefer more than uh, comma so b plus b is equal to a plus 10 is one statement a plus 5 is one more statement a plus 15 in one more is one more statement so it goes something like this b is equal to a plus 10 and that's it it's executed and uh, the value of b is 20 now and then a plus 5 is some statement which is executed and it's of no use nothing happens and a plus 15 one more statement is executed that's it so remember about the uh, preference and when i put a parenthesis as we all know uh, parenthesis is like is like most preferred it's first preference it gets the it gets the first preference so what happens is like uh, all the three statements are executed first which are in the within the parenthesis and then the result is a plus 15 then b is equal to a plus 15 takes place so the value of b is 25 so that's the basics for uh, comma operators now I would like to go in more into details about it um, so people who know functions can proceed else I would say stop here okay guys first let me run and show you whatever I told is like correct so that's 25 b is equal to 25 and when I remove the parenthesis there you go 20 as I told you, a plus 10 is the value of b when I remove the parenthesis. Now let's move on to functions, guys. Okay, so uh, I have a function over here, guys. So it says this. It's a simple function. Um, it contains an integer. I mean, an integer is passed to it. And uh, the integer is like, you know, displayed on the screen. That's it. So I have uh, two variables a, b, 10, 15 and see the statement. This is a function call statement. A function call statement calls the function and uh, people who know functions I need not explain. Still I'm just telling the basics that's it. So what happens is like uh, a single variable has to be passed over here but I have two variables so and i have an extra parenthesis now you may ask me uh, what will happen in this case 
so let me explain here uh, when I remove this parenthesis this uh, comma is a simple comma now but uh, simple comma means a comma which simply separates two variables but now it's a comma operator the one which I mentioned b before which executes the statements from left to right so here is comma operator the great one yeah the great one so what happens is like this parenthesis the this par the parenthesis over here let me make it clear yeah so this is a single unit the one which I've highlighted is a single unit so this single unit goes here so what's the value of the thing the value of the variable which goes here value of a which goes here as I said uh, comma operators they get executed from left to right and so first a is executed nothing is like it's of no use like okay simply it just is like you know simply says a is, a is value is 10 and that's it that's the big execution over there and then b execution takes place and then the result of the two statements is b so the value of b is 15 and the result is 15 so 15 goes to a now that's something tricky i know uh, now let me execute and show it to you 15 gets printed now if i interchange the uh, like you know the thing b comma a now what happens is uh, 10 gets printed so that shows what i told was correct what happens is left to right execution and the rightmost is the result of the statements and th that gets passed now you can have many more uh, questions based on this like i can have something like this i can have uh, again uh, b over here i can have int b and then i can put c out one more variable and as simple as that now what happens is a gets the value of a goes here to a and then the b value and this is simply executed and as i told you this is a single unit and now when i execute i'll get uh, 10 and 15 which is a and b just interchange the values and you'll get 15 and 15 simple so that's one of the main concepts now uh, i'm going to tell you one more extra concept in functions it's like not only for uh, these functions which have come up letters and other things it's like uh, functions in which uh, like you know in the function ca uh, call statement if i use an increment or decrement operator like this b plus plus or something like that and then uh, i mean increment operator for the variable if i use an increment operator for the variable and uh, for any one of these variables also no big deal even if i put increment operator for increment or decrement also operator for any one of those variables in the function call statement then what happens is usually the uh, arguments are passed from left to right but uh, if i use increment or decrement operators the arguments get executed from right to left and they are passed that way now this is significant only if i have uh, the same variable like this something like this okay let me put it as uh, minus minus b so what happens is first b plus plus is executed and then b plus plus is 15 and then the value of b becomes 16 so first 15 will be passed to b and then it becomes 16 and then the 16 is like you know pre-decremented uh, i hope people who know increment and decrement operators still know about it else you better go check about your videos about it so pre-decremented so about that so what happens is 16 minus minus it will become 15 so 15 and 15 will be passed as you see 15 15 can be seen but if you execute it like this in this way i mean uh, normal left right way 
you'll see this 15 minus minus so 14 14 will be passed away and then uh, 14 again and 14 and 14 should be printed but that's not the case so what I said was true so right to left execution takes place so it's an important point over here I have a good question over here wait a second yeah yeah here's the question so as I said you before right to left execution so what happens here, here is like first 10 is passed to B and then when it comes here this is sig a single unit okay so right to left execution I finished this one now one more is left now what happens over here is don't think plus plus A will get executed first see this is a single unit within this single unit there is a comma operator this is a simple comma which is a separation operator yeah it's called separation operator sometimes it's like just uh, a annotation that's it uh, simply say comma that's it so here this is a comma operator so what happens over here is first 10 is gone to B and then here the execution is from left to right I mean these two statements from left to right because of this comma operator now it's like confusing to understand let me explain it again so what happens is as I said before if I use increment or decrement operators in any one of the variables in the function called statement the arguments will be passed from right to left right to left okay so the right most uh, uh, like the first from the right is this and that is 10 10 will be passed to B and then this is one more unit so I have two units this is one simple one complicated unit yeah within the parent this is a single unit so now only this has to be executed so within this unit I never told within a unit like you know uh, it should be from right to left but not within a single unit also it's not necessary that it can be if it was like something like this yeah something like this then I would have told a then plus plus a will be passed but that's not the case over here because we have we don't have a single unit over I mean we don't have a single one instead it's a unit which has two statements separated by a comma operator so what happens over here is because of comma operator the statements get executed from left to right and so first a is passed to b and then a plus plus is executed so 10 plus plus first 10 and then plus plus so it becomes 11 and then 11 plus plus 11 which is 12 so 12 gets passed to a so 12 10 that's the thing let me show you the thing yeah 12 10 you could see that and then you can ask many more like I can put plus plus over here so what happens here is first 10 will be passed but then 11 it will become 11 then here it will become 11 plus plus which is 12 then plus plus 12 which is 13 so 13 10 will be there and you can say many more like you, know, you can make up questions it's just for the question sake comma operators is not like used much in programs uh, you can say just for like you know concept that's it it's a simple concept and that's it I think we are done with it if there are some more to be done in comma operators I'll do it in the next video I think uh, have been dragging a lot of time thanks for watching this is Karpia again